This is Dr. Emily Hecker, and I wanted to go over a case review about this six-year-old who had this lip, lip eczema that was actually really from grain. You can see his lips, the top of them are red. They were scaly on the bottom. This is my son. He had this never-ending lip, this chap lips that wouldn't go away for about three months. Finally, I decided to run this vibrant wellness wheat zoomer panel on him to see what was going on with his body. He wasn't getting a lot of gluten in our house, but occasionally would have um, the, the lunch at school. On Fridays, he would like to buy lunch at school, or we'd take him out and my husband would take him out and have breakfast every once in a while. Um, and so he was getting exposed to some gluten, not a whole, whole lot. I don't even keep it in my house but he was getting exposed. You can see on the right hand side, this is part of the wheat zoomer that Vibrant Wellness has and offers. It looks at transglutaminases and with the arrow, the squiggly area going to the skin, it's pointing at the transglutaminases that are reacting and show that there is a positive risk for skin issues, which verifies his case, verifies his his, his symptoms. The wheat germ panel is also positive. People will find that uh, vitamin D may be lacking with the wheat germ agglutinin being elevated. Part of his recovery and treatment was vitamin D. The gliadin panel, that third chunk um, on the right hand side, is showing extreme high risk for all the different known IgGs and IgAs for gliadin, which is a type of protein found in the wheat, um, in the gluten type of peptide, type of protein. The glutenin is another form of protein within gluten um, and the wheat, and that is also positive. He has just a raging positive test to wheat and gluten. The next part of the wheat zoomer was looking at the celiac panel, and these are, this is good, it's green, that means he's not celiac, yet they're in control in that green um, cell, which is good news. However, in that next column down, the TTG complex, the fusion peptides, see there's one that's yellow right in the middle. That moderate yellow means that he may become celiac. It's a risk factor. It's a prediction that in the next maybe 14, to four, four, 14 months to four years, he might become celiac because this is elevated. They found some research um, that links celiac disease with these positive fusion peptide immunoglobulins. That's pretty scary knowing that in the next couple years, if we don't get this under control, he may become celiac, which is full-blown autoimmune. The last section that I'm going over with his case is this intestinal permeability panel. This is its own little genuine nugget within the wheat zoomer that, um, that Vibrant offers because it's measuring how bad his leaky gut is. This is an intestinal permeability or leaky gut panel. And you can see the zonulin is going to be the protein that looks at measuring how bad those cells are basically splitting or ripping apart and allowing those smaller particles to seep through the lining of the digestive tract and get into the bloodstream to cause immune reactions. The anti-actins are elevated, the anti-zonulins are elevated, and one anti-LPS, IgA, is elevated the 30.5. This tells us that there's likely some dysbiosis going on and that comes from the gram-negative bacterial cell wall, which is activating in his gut. So we can look at this and see that there's damage being done. There's bacterial imbalance, dysbiosis, and part of the treatment plan with him that I did was, well, number one, avoidance of gluten and wheat. We just took it out of the diet um, and I was very strict very, very strict about this. Um, we supported with SBI Protect, which is a great immunoglobulin powder from orthomolecular. It's, it's actually, it stands for serum bovine immunoglobulins. It's immunoglobulins derived from cow blood serum bovine. And it's very powerful, it's potent, and it does not have a lot of other ingredients in it for those super sensitive people. It's just a tasteless powder that I mixed with applesauce for him. He ate it like a champ. Um, he doesn't swallow capsules, but he loves his applesauce and um, was found a great way to mix some cinnamon in there and, and, and get him in that twice a day. I, I gave him a, a pretty hefty dose at one, 
one scoop, um, sometimes bumping it up to two full scoops a day for him. I also did some other custom nutrients for him based on what his body was needing, like the vitamin D, as well as some other gut healing nutraceuticals as well. But look, at you can see on his picture, the, the picture at the bottom was a couple months later. It um, has some signs some evidence of some, some um, some healing on the bottom of the lip. The top of the lip has healed very quickly, um, but the bottom one did take some time to go away. As of now, it's completely gone, but we know that when he gets into some gluten, he, he may get more excitable, um, and we may have some more lip and skin outbreaks when he does get exposed to it, but this test was very valuable to us to show that we do need to be more specific on what we put in our children's body because we don't know how it's reacting in their uh, behavior and their skin and their brain function. And so that is my case review on the wheat zoomer along with the intestinal permeability panel. Thanks.